blog 491,388,931 rank also here's a fun story that played out in a few acts on Twitter as the Lynx prepared for their playoff game in Los Angeles. By Michael Rand August 21, 2018, 3 p.m. So here's a fun story that played out in a few acts on Twitter. Act 1, a Lynx fan living in Los Angeles tried to buy tickets online for Tuesday's playoff game between the Lynx and Sparks but ran into roadblocks. So she asked for help. It was a pretty simple request but she definitely tagged the right people. She received two replies, one from the Sparks directing her to where she could buy tickets, and one nine minutes earlier from Lynx coach Cheryl Reeve asking her how many tickets she needed. And upon finding out the fan just needed one ticket, Reeve decided she would just take care of it herself. We'll see if there is any good karma awaiting the Lynx when they play the Sparks at 9.30 p.m. In a one-game, winner-take-all playoff opener, Michael Rand started Randball with hopes that he could convince the world to love jumpsuits as much as he does. So far, he's only succeeded in using the word, redacted, a lot. He welcomes suggestions, news tips, links of pure genius, and pictures of pets in Halloween costumes here, though he already knows he will regret that last part. Follow at Randball on Twitter. From Randball So here's a fun story that played out in a few acts on Twitter as the Lynx prepared for their playoff game in Los Angeles. Bigger and arguably better college hockey facilities have been built since but Mariucci remains among the best. And 25 years ago, it had a debut worthy of its stature. While the Vikings offensive line battles its health issues, Matt Khalil is dealing with bad knees in his second season after moving from Minnesota to Carolina. Peterson spent this offseason looking for work, with conventional wisdom saying a running back of his age doesn't have much left to offer. Irvin Santana's twins career appears to be over, and if so it looks like this piteous, ugly book ends on an otherwise nice shelf.